Medicine's Professor Chris Bernard performed the world's first heart transplant. Heart surgeons from around the world have gathered at Hrutaskir Hospital in Cape Town for the anniversary celebrations. The theme of the three-day gathering is courage and innovation. The surgeons will discuss the progress made over the past 50 years in heart surgery and how technology has improved procedures. Transplant 50 years ago, but also a brainstorming session on how to improve the lives of millions in need. Experts say in poor countries, as many people suffer from heart disease as from HIV, funding and resources among the challenges. We have 47 heart centres in South Africa, of which six exist for the uh, 55 million without medical aid, and uh, the remaining 40 plus are for the 15% of patients with medical aid and another number if you look at Cape Town as a city of 4 million or even if it's 6, uh, we have 15 heart centers here, 13 of them private and the entire African continent outside North Africa and South Africa has 22. So that gives an idea that we are talking about something which is not really a medical problem but a, a social problem. Poor countries say humanitarian efforts which focus mainly on treating child patients tend to leave large sections of society without help. Our surgery has relayed mainly on visiting teams from Europe, from United States and we also have a collaboration here with Cape Town trying not also to operate on our ch children mainly because these humanitarian efforts go to children um, predominantly but also to train our local team and after 16 years of heart operation since the first heart operation in Mozambique we now have two centers working and we have five surgeons who were trained through these programs. Even China with 700 cardiac surgery centers has challenges. We have a very big population. We have more than 1.3 billion people. So relatively it's a low number. We only have 0 0.5 centers per million people. So it's, it's a very small number. And we can do 210,000 open heart surgery, heart procedures a year. It's a relatively small, but we do the most at the coast area because China is very broad. The develop this, uh, the development is a uh, very variable. South Africa continues to show innovation in the field. A team of experts has created an affordable plastic heart valve for people suffering from rheumatic heart disease. It's estimated that over 33 million people globally are in need of life-saving heart surgery. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.